Now let's get into some real talk. It's time for story time, everyone. Why don't we just dive right on in? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for this video, what I thought we would do is we would do some more quizzes. So we're going to do some more spooky quizzes, Halloween based, horror movie based, and see how well we do. Let's dive right on in. Alrighty. So our first quiz is done by Scooban and it is Halloween time horrors. Can you name the scary movies based on what is on the screen at 10 minutes and 31 seconds? Let's start. So this one is Alien. Correct. That is The Shining. Correct. That is Scream. Yep. That's Saw. Correct. Uh, Six Sense. Correct. Uh, Silence of the Land. Correct. Uh, 28 Days Later, correct. Uh, Woman in Black, correct. Uh, is that the ring? Yeah. Correct. Uh, I Am Legend, correct. Ooh, I'll have to skip that one. That is The Birds, correct. That is Psycho, correct. A Paranormal Activity, correct. That is Nightmare on Elm Street, correct. Hmm, that rack? No. Poltergeist? No, no clue. I don't know what either one of these is, so let's find out. So that is The Exorcist. So good to know. And this one was The Blair Witch Project. All right, not bad. I got 88%, better than the average score. Why don't we move on to our next quiz? So this one is done by B. Henderson 79 and it's 16 little Halloween costume pictograms. The name of a popular Halloween costume is depicted by the images in each pictogram. Can you decipher them all? So I will do my best to go from left to right. So here we go. So that is a scare crow. Correct. D butter, D butter fly. D wing, get rid of the arc, skip that one. Go stamp amp. Ghost. Ghost? Okay. Uh, oh, minus the amp. Uh, that is fire. Fire punch. Skip that one. Wear wolf. Correct. Fish. Fishing. So fish. No. Fishing. Fish. Nemo? We'll skip that one. That's a rock star. Football player. Football player. Correct. Sandwich without the sand. So a witch. Correct. Warlock. A warlock. Yeah. Uh, Freddy. Mercury without the mercury. Freddy made. Freddy Marie Curie. So is that Queen? Queen made? I have no clue. Let's so that's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Okay. That's Astro Rope. Astro Rope. Jetson Knot. Astronaut. Oh, an astronaut. Correct. Pie mice. Pie mice. Pie mouse. Pie rat. Pirate. Correct. Weight at pound. Scale at pound. Scale at pound. Scale at weight. 
scale out pound. Forget that. Iron Man. Correct. Okay. D butter. D butter. No. D D fly. D monarch. Demon. Perfect. Fire fighter. Fire fighter. Yeah. That's a clown fish without the fish. So it's just a clown. Okay. Uh, then we've got Freddy without the mercury. Uh, Freddy mermaid. Mermaid? That's just, a, oh, Freddy mercury without the, okay. I don't know that one. Okay. And uh, this one. Scale at pound. Skeleton? Skeleton. Done. 100%. I'm so proud of myself. 16 out of 16. Way better than the average. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So this is done by Jack Dots and it's Halloween Objects. So when given the description, can you correctly select the item related to Halloween that is being described? So let's start. Often seen as a decorative piece, this also has a popular Halloween ride named after it. Uh, is that the Haunted Mansion? No, it was hay. Okay. Tricksters will often throw this object in and around trees and other objects in people's yards as pranks during Halloween. That's toilet paper. Correct. One of the most popular and recognizable objects of Halloween. These are often carved into jack-o'-lanterns. That's a pumpkin. Correct. If you're doing... If you're going as Dracula or a vampire, a good set of these is most likely a must. Fangs. Pointed teeth. Yep. Yeah. This is a staple of one of the most popular Halloween costumes of all. Don't forget your broom as well. That's the witch's hat. These are often added to a tub of water and people will participate in a game of bobbing for them. Apples. This is often what trick-or-treaters are expecting to get when going door-to-door. -door. The more the better. Candy. Popular Halloween attraction where people enter and try to find their way out. They come in many designs, often reflecting pop culture. That's a haunted house. It's a corn maze. Jeez. These may contain a humorous name, inscription like Paul Bearer or Decompose, and can transform your front yard into a spooky cemetery. That's a tombstone. Gravestone, correct. Nice addition to a costume or decor is often used to hold a Halloween punch or treats for visitors. That's a cauldron. Correct. A popular anatomical decoration often used as whole unit or in pieces. That's a skeleton. A popular Halloween amusement in which people pass through and hope to get a good scare. That's a haunted house. Perfect. Trick or treaters won't be seen without one of these as it allows them to collect their treats. A uh, pail? Correct. Although much more common now, these are often a Halloween costume staple to help disguise the face. A mask. This object is often placed inside a jack-o'-lantern to help accentuate the face. That is a candle. So I got 87%, 13 out of 15. I wouldn't say that's not that bad, actually. And so I beat the average. All right, let's move on to the next quiz. So our next quiz is done by B Henderson 79 again and it is the Halloween trivia grid. Can you answer these Halloween themed trivia questions on this festive grid? So let's find out. There are 22. Jeez. All right, let's go. What animated series celebrates Halloween each year with a spe special on Treehouse of Horror? That's The Simpsons. Are you really going to make me type The Simpsons? You are oh, the Simpsons. Correct. Dr. Jonathan Crane is the alter ego of what Batman villain sometimes called the master of fear. Is that Scarecrow? Okay. And what gothic work of Poe does the narrator lament the death of his beloved Lenore, the Raven? Okay. Which legendary spirit of Irish folklore is feared for its wail or shriek. That's a banshee. Okay. Halloween is widely believed to have originated from what Gaelic fe harvest festival? Isn't that Sam 
pain? I don't know if that's how it's spelled. Um, it doesn't look like that's right. Sawin. Uh, I'll have to skip that one. Okay. Phasmophobia is also known as a fear of what? Ghosts? Okay. Who is the main antagonist of Child's Play slasher film franchise? That's Chucky. Elium sativum, better known by what name, is a plant said to repel vampires? Garlic? What Swiss core owns popular Halloween candy brands like Kit Kat, Rolo, and Smarties? I know this one. Oh my gosh. Who owns Kit Kat? Nestle. What well-known Jim Varney character was scared stupid in the 1991 Halloween themed film? Isn't it Ernest? Yeah. Folklore dictates that werewolves are vulnerable to weapons made from which metallic element? Silver. Correct. In Is the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, who does Linus mistake for the Great Pumpkin? Snoopy. Correct. The Grim Reaper is typically depicted wielding what agricultural tool? Is it a Sith? Sith? Scythe? No. Is it, uh, What is it? I'm going to have to skip it for now. What composer or former Oingo Boingo member scored The Nightmare Before Christmas? Skip. Along with Frankenberry and, and others, which count can be found in monster-themed breakfast cereals? Chocula. What English actor starred in Frankenstein and The Mummy? Oh, Boris Karloff, right? Kar Karloff? I can't. Karloff? Yeah. What modern country is home to the historical region of Transylvania? Isn't that Romania? Correct. If you're afflicted with the fictional disease of lycanthropy, what sort of creature are you? Is that leprechaun? Nope. Uh, skip it. John Landis directed a 13-minute hor minute horror short as the music video for what 1983 hit song? A thriller? Correct. Who wrote and directed the 1978 film Halloween? Carpenter. John Carpenter. Hugh Jackman starred as a, as what famed vampire hunter in a 2004 film? Uh, what was it? Dracula and uh, the other guy. I forget his name. Skip it. Okay, enter the phrase. Okay, so it's H-A-V-E have a ghastly, ghastly Halloween. So, Halloween is widely believed, okay, have a, okay, I'll have to skip that one again. Okay, the Grim Reaper, a ghastly Halloween. So that's a scythe. There we go. What composer, okay, Nightmare Before Christmas, have a ghastly ha, so H-A. Uh, skip it. If you're afflicted, hello, W. Um, a werewolf? Yeah. Hugh Jackman played one, Halloween. Um, vampire Hunter. Oh, who's the Vampire Hunter? Um, oh, who's the vampire hunter? Dracula. This is Professor, Professor, oh, I forget his name. I'll have to give up. Sam Hain, so I was close. Elfman and Van Helsing. That was it. Ugh, close enough. Hey, 87%, way better than the average. Let's move on to our next one. So, Halloween candies without Halloween. This is done by Farrah the One. So, can you name the popular Halloween candies with the letters Halloween removed? So, we're going to go down and then down. So, let's start. So, this is Skittles, Reese's, uh, Snickers, 
Starburst, a uh, Candy Corn, a uh, something to, to, to skip that one. Um, the next one, this one, Pops, Pops, Tootsie Pops. Uh, Sour Patch Kids, Hershey's Kisses, I did not spell Hershey's right, there we go, Jolly, Jolly Ranchers, okay, Butterfinger, Taffy, okay, over here, Hershey's Mini Bar, Hershey's Mini Bars, okay, a Milky Way, a Swedish Fish, okay, Twix, a Kit Kat, Double Bubble, a Bub Pops, something Pops, but Bean pop, I don't know, skip that one. Um, this one, forget it, skip to this one. Three musketeers, is it musket? Yeah. Uh, Almond Joy. Uh, Sivers, Spheres, with, with, Lifesavers, Milk Duds, okay, let's go back to here, Blank, Tit, okay, is that, Hat, Cat, no, Hat, Lat, Wet, Wet, Hat, I can't skip that one. Uh, bank Pops. Blank Pops. Bean Pops? I don't think it's Bean Pops. Is it... Oh my gosh. Almonds. Is that just almonds? Al... M O Almonds? I have no clue. I think I'm going to have to give up. Okay. Hot tamales, blow pops, and lemon heads. Hey, I don't think I did that bad. I think I did pretty good, and I'm quite proud of myself. All right, then. And there you have it. That was just some fun Halloween-style quizzes. I hope you enjoyed and you followed along, and how well did you do? Did you know ones that it took me a lot longer to figure out? Or did you know some that I had no clue? Let me know down in the comments. And I wish you a wonderful and spooky Halloween. All right then. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.